Matt was training for a marathon and had a 20-mile run listed on his training calendar. If he only completed three-fourths of the run, how far did he go? We will answer this question using a formal problem-solving process. So for step one, we state the given information. The given information is, Matt had a 20-mile run planned, and also, he ran three-fourths of the run. The next step is to state the goal. The goal is to determine how far Matt ran by determining three-fourths of 20 miles. And now for the solution process, we want to determine what is three-fourths of 20 miles. One way to determine three-fourths of 20 would be to recognize this would be three-fourths of a copy of 20, and therefore three-fourths of 20 is equal to three-fourths times 20. So now we'll find this product. For the first step, we write 20 as a fraction with the denominator of one. So we'd have three-fourths times 20 over one. Next, to multiply fractions. We multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So the numerator is three times 20. The denominator is four times one. But we do want this fraction to be simplified, which means the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one. We'll notice right now, four and 20 share a common factor of four, so this will simplify. Let's simplify this now before multiplying. To show the common factor of four, let's write 20 as four times five. We could write out the prime factorization of these products, but let's go ahead and just write 20 as four times five, which will save us some time. So the numerator can be written as three times four times five. The denominator will stay four times one. And notice how here we can see the common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. And we know four fourths, or four divided by four is equal to one. So this simplifies to one, leaving us with a numerator of 15 and a denominator of one. And 15 over one, or 15 divided by one, is equal to 15. So now we know Matt ran 15 miles when he ran three-fourths of 20 miles. The next step is to check the solution, and we'll check our solution using a different problem-solving strategy. Let's let this bar represent the entire run of 20 miles. Because Matt ran three-fourths of the run, let's divide this bar into four equally sized pieces or parts, where this represents one-fourth of the run, this represents two-fourths, or one-half of the run. This represents three-fourths of the run. And this represents four-fourths, or one entire run. And because 20 divided by four is equal to five, one-fourth of the run would be five miles. Two-fourths, or one-half the run would be 10 miles. Three-fourths would be 15 miles. And four-fourths, or one entire run, would be 20 miles. And because Matt ran three-fourths of the run, this does verify he ran 15 miles. The final step is to write the result as a complete sentence, which is Matt ran 15 miles. I hope you found this helpful.